I come from a long lineage of travelers. People who traveled by will, moved from place to place with the seasons in the Black Hills of this country, the Oglala Lakota. People who traveled by force, the Congo people that came to this country in slavery and who found their ancestors on their way back. And from Swedish travelers who traveled to this country with the slave trade to make their fortune in the new world. So I am come to this place that my father's people call Turtle Island at the intersection of all of those travelers. And I'm still a traveler. I'm traveling. I came to Vermont. I'm new to this land. I'm a visitor here. I am a stranger in many ways to this place. But something that all of those um, travelers, or as particularly that my father's people taught me um, about traveling, my grandmother, and when I was tiny, um, talked to me about the songs that were how I could be in relationship to the plants and the trees and the ground and the waters, the rivers and the clouds and the mountains and the sky and the creepy crawlers and the standing people, every, every being in that place was, I was introduced to through song and presence. And so I came to know them as my relatives. I came to understand that place, the place where my placenta is buried, even as a traveler. I came to know that place as my relatives. And that, that all of those relatives were connected to relatives all over Turtle Island. So that sense of being that place, being part of Pahasapa, and then traveling to other places to explore the lands and places of other ancestors always came with an introduction. What of my cousins do I know? I moved to New Mexico and stayed there for a really long time. So I have some really close cousins in New Mexico. I have cousins who are Chamisa and Choya and Juniper and pine and volcanic rock on the Rio Grande in the gorge and the, po- the northern eight northern Pueblo tribes. Those are cousins. Those are all cousins. So when I came to Vermont, I was looking for a relationship to this place first by recognizing who are my cousins. Who are the cousins I know in this place? I, do- I don't know Abenaki people here. I don't, I don't have any cousins that are related, that I know of. So I was looking for some other cousin. You know, it's like when you go to those big family reunions and you, there are cousins you absolutely don't remember, you have no idea who they are, but you, they look like they might be related to Aunt Mabel. <laughs> so you're looking for Aunt Mabel so that you can find out how you're related to those cousins. And here through cousins that I have in the Ohio River Valley, the Shawnee, who introduced me really to close relationship with Sumac. So, oh, there's a cousin. That cousin can relate, can introduce me to other cousins here. And through that, and then through other relationships, looking for my ancestors and cousins of theirs in this landscape, made me really, really seek out connection or Um, introduction to the black farmers from Heinsberg, from Lincoln Hill. How am I, what's my relationship? How do I, how do I call them in as cousins? How do I find my way towards my relationship with the Abenaki as my cousins? How do I find my way through them into the larger Wabanaki confederacy? And how do I continue to grow my relationship in this place as a visitor, so that I can begin to be of this place. So I have a place that I be, that I am it, in the Black Hills. That's a place that I am. I have a place that my heart resounds with, 
because I have so many cousins in that place, and that is New, Me New Mexico. And here, I want to be in relationship with my distant cousins. And so when I think about the broader, bigger conversations about land in, in this place and the future of conversations about land, I wonder how we get to be in conversation with and always have room for listening to our distant cousins and listening to our distant cousins at every level so that they can all participate in the conversation because there's a way that simply being on the land or with the land sometimes doesn't allow the voice of those cousins like the sumac and like that level of cousin to participate in the conversation. So how does that conversation get bigger? So I'm always dreaming about how that conversation can get bigger, bigger than the people like me, bigger than the people who I have an affinity with, bigger than the people that I just see in passing, and ultimately bigger than the humans who are all part of the conversation.